to family's beloved pet, was terrorized, tortured for nearly a week without food or water. Tonight, they want the person who did this to their dog caught and punished. Fox 2's Andre Eisen with a disturbing story. Some of the pictures you are about to see are very upsetting and hard to look at. Some of them we could not even show you because what happened to Chester was repulsive. This is above and beyond animal cruelty. It was wicked, pure evil. It was torture. This was torturing him for days. I want somebody to come forward because whoever did this isn't going to stop at animals. At some point, this kind of mindset has to bleed over to everything. And it's, it's sick to think about. But it's also sick to think about what a faithful member of the Hayden family was forced to live through. Chester, a five-year-old German short hair pointer, was a happy dog before he was hunted down and horrified. It was heartbreaking. I did not think we would see him again. Mm -mm. Our dog went missing Saturday, July 12th. On that day, they called Chester in just in time for dinner, but he didn't come. He probably wandered off a little further. He'll, he'll be back in a little bit. But he wasn't. Worried, wondering where Chester could be, wishing they weren't fearing the worst, though they were. They searched, reached out to their neighbors, posted flyers, and placed plenty of calls to plenty of vet clinics. Nothing. Days went by, each one more devastating than the last. But then they heard a noise. We heard whining out in the backfield. Went brain, so we both took off. And when he yelled Chester, I ran right to him, and I saw his innocent little face and wondered who would do that. I saw his foot first, you know big as a softball and I figured, you know, he's probably lose a leg, but you know, got him back. Chester was back, but he'd been through hell. We found him tied to an electric fence with the electric fence wire. Somebody actually found a uh, broken end of the electric fence wire and used that to tie both legs three, four times around each leg and then tied both legs together. I just started to tear up. We found the dog out in the field with both legs, both hind legs wrapped up about 30 yards behind our property. So every time we'd call him, he could hear us but couldn't get to us. Every time we called, he probably pulled a little bit more, not realizing he couldn't go. And he doesn't like to be away from us, and as weak as he was, he managed to get noise out. To let the people he loves know he was near. They cut and untangled the wires and rushed him to Wilson Veterinary Hospital in Washington Township. He's in a good place right now. They're taking good care of him. Chester was missing for six days with no food, no water. He'd lost 20 pounds. There were maggots found inside his wounds. The wire cut down to the bone. Um, this dog was in rough shape. And the doctors believe what Chester's family already knew to be true. This was done intentionally. There's no way he could have done that. Some sick person came up with this. I can't even imagine how somebody would even think like that. What is wrong with you? Somebody had no heart, put his mind farthest away from it when he did it. He could have cared less. That's what I think. I'd like to say we could forgive who did it, but, you know, how would you like it done to you? I want whoever did this to go to jail. What if it's somebody's kid next time? As upset as they are about what happened, this St. Clair County family is happy to be back together again. Now Chester is expected to make a full recovery, though it won't be easy. And if you have pets, then you know those vet bills are mounting. If you would like to help the Hayden family ease some of that financial burden, we'll put that information on our website, myfoxdetroit.com. And if you happen to know anything about what happened to Chester, call the police right now, please. I'm Andrea Isom on the Edge.